Hey there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to give a quick update on my August spending and budget plan, as well as some things that I'm trying to balance my budget because I had the bright idea to actually try to balance my budget this month. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, then stick around. This year has been really eventful for me. I got married at the beginning of the year and I'm currently 35 weeks pregnant uh, with my first child. So there have been a lot of expenses in a a very short amount of time. As a result, I'm currently sitting on about $7,000 in consumer loan debt, which is awful and makes me sick to my stomach. Also motivates me to pay it off. So how I had been feeling previously was kind of defeated and kind of like a throw my hands up and what can I do about it kind of mentality. But that's kind of shifted lately and I realized, you know what? Let's look at the numbers and let's see where we are. I know they're not ideal, they're terrible and they're not ideal at all, but it's important to put this in context. So I really sat down over the weekend and gave myself sort of a pep talk <laughs> because prior to this year, I had had no consumer debt for 12 years. I was in about $17,000 worth of credit card debt back in when I first graduated um, and in my first couple of years working, it took me about two and a half years to pay that off. And since then I have not been in credit card debt at all. So I know that I have those 12 years behind me and I know that I am capable of living below my means. So that's thing number one that I had to remember. Thing number two is when I looked at the numbers currently, so after getting married and kind of adjusting to life in a new city and Working together with my husband, uh, it's been an adjustment for both of us. And I think my spending definitely kind of took some time to settle out. And now that it's been about nine months <laughs> since we've been married, I feel like I have some perspective and I can say, okay, this is how much I'm spending and this is how much I have coming in. I am responsible for making up the difference. And when I looked at those two numbers, what I have coming in is about 3000 and what I'm spending is about 3300 I mean, give or take some months it's higher. <laughs> than that, some months it's a little bit lower, but overall that's what it's been. And it's also been tough because there really hasn't been, there have been very, very few normal months in this whole year because I feel like every month has had something exceptional going on. No excuses though. So I have made a spending plan and I have been accountable for the spending that I've done against that plan. And of course, things always come up. They just do. There's some unexpected expenses that just came come up. And for me, I choose to prioritize family and experiences over my own financial um, will. And that's just a choice that I've made. And I made choose to do things differently in the future. For example, my mom really wanted to take a vacation in June. So we took a vacation in June. Um, it was not in the budget, it was not in the plan. And it ended up causing huge expenses. And I feel like had I taken a different, I could have taken a different path with that. I would have felt one way had I taken a different path. And I feel one way now having taken the, the path that I did. So it's all a process of negotiation and learning and um, being accountable for the choices that I do make. That's That's all it is. All this in the context of financial independence. My ultimate goal is financial independence. So keeping that in mind, I just say to myself, I have $3,000 coming in. Let's make a budget for $3,000 and let's plan to stick to that. And that, that's the plan. And if things come up, things come up and we deal with them as they come up. So that's what I did over the weekend. So with that, I'm going to show you my numbers and what I'm working with so far. This spreadsheet, if you're interested, is linked in my Etsy shop. So on the summary tab, we have all the expenses that I enter daily from the enter here tab that feed through. So they all aggregate and add up on the summary tab. You see the first expense was for things that I spent on baby and that's $217.71. The majority of that was on soft goods. So things like blankets, burp claws, and clothes. I know that babies do not need that many clothes, especially in the beginning. And for context, prior to this, I had spent zero dollars on clothes. So I had no clothing, no onesies, no sleepers, no nothing. So I really aimed to be diligent in this. So I did a lot of thrifting and 
um, picking up kind of bargain deals where I could. So that was what I spent uh, for the baby. Going forward, I am looking forward to um, giving the baby a line item and saying, okay, we have $150 or $100 this month for baby things, and after that, that's it. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, the idea is to have a boundary around what I am willing to spend on the baby and really reigning in my own spending, really. So for business, I've spent nothing so far. On clothes for myself, I spent $53. Again, thrifting and aiming to be as cost conscious as humanly possible. Food out, $9, I'll take it. Compared to, you can see I spent $493 the month before and we're just about a third of the way through the month. So I am thrilled with that number and aim to continue. <laughs> Uh, for gifts, I spent $50, and that was for a very good friend's uh, son's birthday. Groceries, I spent $239. That included $127 in prep for freezer cooking, which was a learning experience again, <laughs> because I, again, am really just trying to save money and I feel like freezer cooking is a great idea. It is not always um, worth the time and energy. <laughs> so that's just what I've learned. We'll see how it works out though. Uh, for health, I have spent nothing so far. For household, nothing so far. Um, a lot of that just goes into groceries. No spend, I had two days of no spend, which is great. Uh, for personal care, I spent $60 on a haircut, which was very, very badly needed. And I actually wish I'd spent more because the haircut I got looked like a $40 haircut and I'm just gonna save up and go to the place that I'd really like to go to for a little bit more. Transportation, nothing so far. Travel, nothing so far. And for a grand total of $631 in variable income or variable expenses, including my fixed expenses, that brings us to 2227 total including my $1,500, $1,600 in fixed expenses. So that means I have roughly $800 left for the rest of the month. So with, again, about two thirds more of the month to go, it's doable. It's just gonna be a challenge, um, especially not knowing what's going to happen uh, with baby expenses. I really wanna be as conservative as possible now. So. That's what I'm looking at. That's what the numbers are showing. And I always find that even though it might be a little bit scary to think about, the numbers are ultimately what gives me at least the greatest peace. So I will continue to do that going forward. All right, so there you go. So far, um, I am coming in under budget and we'll see what the rest of the month holds. It would be great if I came in with a balanced budget for this month, that would just be awesome. So I'm really working toward that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll keep on watching. Bye.